Hello! Let me know if you can hear me okay, cause... Earlier... Oh, no, I'm on mute. Okay, maybe now. <laughs> Let me know if you can hear me okay, because Streamlabs decided that I didn't have a microphone anymore. <laughs> so that was quite the adventure. So, basically what we're doing today is I'm making... Ooh, one day I'll get it. Uh, this Hannah Alexander uh, buttercup design. I really love it. Let's see what's going on. Okay, no, we're fine. Um, I really love the design. I want to get through it with relatively few streams. So I want to get through it relatively quickly. And that's really good because we basically already have the bodysuit right behind me. So that will be all good. All right. By the way, while I'm trying to update all of the social media, um, tell me who your favorite Powerpuff Girl is. I'm very interested. I love Buttercup. She's my favorite. But I think I'm more of a Blossom. I think I'm, I think I'm sadly more of a Blossom. It's quite a bummer, but this is where we're at and our lives. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Interesting. I'm just having a super great adventure as far as figuring out why social media stuff won't post right now. It's been good. In the, in the interest of making, like, stream more efficient, I've just been trying to figure out, like, how early start time should be. And I can't figure that out yet. Anyway, so I only want to take a couple streams to do this. So I, I'm going to go ahead and say it out loud so that I, I have to do it and so that it is real. My goal is to have this done in three streams. So that's, like, six-ish hours. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I think that I can get most of the work on the bodysuit done today. And hopefully then that just means that, um, the detail work, so like the draping and the, like her little headband would happen on another stream. But also I'm going to give myself plenty of time. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to take me three streams to do this cosplay, but hopefully, hopefully it can only take two. So I got this bodysuit here and the first thing, I mean, this, this isn't right, right? You see this, this is not correct at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get in here and I'm honestly just going to take Taylor's chalk and I'm just going to try to give it like that swooping neckline so that We'll tack that into place, and that'll be right then. Cool. Let's see. Same distance on the other side. Awesome. Now for the center. That's going to be good. That's going to be right. I'm just going to dive in here. I should probably go all the way around. I really don't want to. You all missed it, by the way, on the Monster on Monster Cat, which is what I listen to my music from. So, I mean, I've heard about, like, Baby Shark and that. But they were playing 
purple people eater. And I was losing my mind in here. Because I was easily entertained as a child. And I thought it was hilarious. Um, so I'm sorry that you missed that moment. Because I was having a good time. I wish that song had come on just a little bit later. much better. We're juggling a lot of angles tonight because we got like this up here. We have a sewing machine down here. It's going to be a lot of angles. So that'll be fun. All right. Come here, little one. Trimming this. So I have to be honest. I, this past weekend, I watched Voltron. We watched the live action Full Moon Alchemist movie. And we watched Monster Brothers to be fair. But now, I, I'm thinking I'm itching for another anime. Uh, I rarely get the itch for anime. It's not that common. Um, it takes a lot for me to want to dive into my hole. <laughs> it's a certain kind of feeling. So, I'm real curious to know what what anime I'm really into like what's hipping now because again a lot of times by the time I watch anime I am way behind so if you know a hip and now anime please let me know sincerely yours be good. This is just the detail work I needed without using gigantic scissors. 
Ooh, yes, it's getting fall off the shoulder. And by that I mean it's not staying on the stress form. Good. That's good. Okay. So now, we're gonna move over to the sewing machine. Move this guy out of the way. And move down. Whoa, that's my microphone. That's my sewing machine. Too low. Well, I had this at one point. You know, that's going to be what it is. That's just what I'm doing today. We're just living this life. Actually, I think, yes, that was it. It was further up. Awesome. This is my life. This is fine because I slouch a lot. Good. So, of course, uh, a lot of people are getting ready for Dragon Con still. Uh, Dragon Con basically starts on Wednesday. Thursday is the new Friday, so most people get there on Wednesday. Uh, Monday's the new Sunday. You still do things on Monday now at Dragon Con. Um, and I'm sadly not going, so I am having to live through everyone else. So if you're going to Dragon Con, please tell me what your con crunch is like right now. What do you still have to do? I don't have to do anything. It's great. I'm, I'm just doing this project because I want to. <laughs> it's a good feeling. So, let me just take out this bobbin thread so you can kind of see. So, I thought... It would be really, really fun because there's all that like green in the corners of her design. So, ow. yeah, so it's like a, a green multicolored thread. That webcam doesn't focus. So we're just using a green, like, it's like green and yellow. And it's going to be like an accent piece. And then I'm going to come in with a whole bunch of puff paint for the rest of the design. At first I wanted to do rhinestones and then I didn't want to do that anymore. I gave up. I gave up on that idea. I'd rather have a few select rhinestones than it all be rhinestone work. Hmm. About to say, if my... I knew I shouldn't have taken this bobbin out. I, uh, I was getting ready and I mean, my sewing machine hates me. So just, we, we have to work with one another a lot of times. A lot of times it hates me. Just trim off the excess. We are all in here now. Coolio. Mm. Actually, it's up here that's the problem. Sweet. Awesome. Trim excess. Put this guy on there. Uh, we want the stitches to be very tiny. Uh, 
because I don't want to get too crazy as far as uh, how deep cut it is. Gosh, how gorgeous is that? It's gorgeous, let me tell you. I will answer that question for you. It is a gorgeous line. All right. Here we go in here. We're going to start sewing. So this will be an interesting experience in noise. You're welcome. I'm not going to sew too fast so that it is not awful. And again, if you have a favorite Powerpuff Girl, I'd love to hear which one it is. Feel free to tell me. All right, here we go. Hmm. That tension doesn't look right. It's not. It's okay. And we're already seam ripping because my machine decided that the tension is going to be wrong. See, like, pretty line. You can't really see. But it's like, that's fine. Back here is a disaster. It's a disaster. Look at that. Yeah, you, even you can tell that it's a disaster back there. Unacceptable. It's got to come out now. This may end up being a bobbin problem. I'm not sure yet and I'm not ready to commit to redoing the bobbin. Actually, let's figure out if it's a bobbin problem. Let's find out. Yep, this is a bobbin problem. Unacceptable. Unacceptable, that mess. Not okay. Hmm, it looks like I'm experiencing some lag, I'm noticing. Or maybe just I'm experiencing my own lag. That'd be great. All right, so we're just gonna seam rip this and then we're gonna take out the bobbin thread. Do that little guy over again. Once you've tried everything with a sewing machine, it's uh, it can be a huge bummer, but the best thing to do is just start over. Cool, cool. We're getting there. Okay. That is removed, which is cool. So, oh, so close. I spoke too soon. I was too confident. That's what happens when you're too confident. All 
All right. So now. All right. So now let's undo this bobbin thread and do that again. It's going to be real good. I'm very excited. But I'm not going to let it stress me out. like this should be just rolling through here and it is clearly not but I want it to but there's really not that much thread on here anymore after all of these efforts and plus again I'm in no rush I have a, I would like to get this done in like two streams, but I don't have to. Just a personal challenge to myself. And admittedly, my sewing machine was one of the first things I thought of when I was like, I'll just do it in two streams. I was like, Mickey, sometimes your sewing machine makes you very angry. Are you sure you want to? say that so so like hard anyway what are your labor day plans i'm planning on going to the beach i'm so excited i'm not a beach person so i don't really seek out the beach by myself It like immediately looked like it didn't want to roll the bobbin. That's crazy me too. What do you think you're, what do you think you want to do at the beach? Can you hear me when I roll the bobbin? Just a real question. <laughs> Red is almost out. That is so fun. Oh, you're at the finale of Undertale? I think I totally like forgot that's what you were playing. How, how, I mean, I assume you've liked it. <laughs> that's good. I really want, it's like one of those games that's been on my like list to play. My never-ending list. I, yeah, I know. I, I know. I have avoided spoilers, which is why I'm trying not to ask you too much about it. Because I am very lucky. How have I avoided spoilers so long? All right, so fun fact. Uh, apparently, this is some kind of, like, special... I mean, I knew it was. It's like a specialty thread. Uh, so... There was very little of it on this spool. It's so great. So we are gonna try to do this with what we got on here. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to abandon that idea and we're gonna go with a nice standard black. Cause I'm about done with this already. This thread is the worst. Oh, you didn't read any guides so you can make choices naturally. That's really nice. That's a good idea. I'm really bad at um, 
like reading guides. I, I love reading guides. I'm a very, we've talked about this before, I'm a very story-based player. So I just want to find out the story as quickly as possible. And guides help me do that. I like cheating. That's what it is. I'm not afraid to say it. We're in like a crazy crunch. I'm like looking at the thread, looking at the garment, looking at the thread, looking at the garment. <laughs> this, you can't, you can't uh, buy this kind of excitement. <laughs> Will there be enough of this specialty thread? <laughs> Stay tuned. Mm-mm. What happened? Something happened. Okay. Okay, we got unhinged from the bobbin at some point. How? Because there's a knot in here. That's good. I didn't put a knot in here, by the way. I just decided that there was one. Oh, Singer Simple. That's right. Um, I have a Singer Simple. Could be better. Could be worse. Could be worse. I've actually sewn on more worse machines. And made it work. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Very determined. We can do this. So luckily, uh, we didn't get too far in the garment before we realized where the issue was. So I have lost very little thread, like relatively speaking. So there is still hope. There is still hope for this. Especially because we're going through the front of the garment where it matters. <gasps> awesome. Oh, man. I'm so excited because I've never done anything with, like, purposeful, colorful stitching before. Hello! How are you? We're sewing this Hannah Alexander buttercup right now.
just a fan art design of Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls. We're going to deal with that. We can get through this. We're playing a really fun game of will this specialty thread last through the entire garment. It's a fun game. Oh man, we are so close right now. <laughs> this is how much thread we have. Which we haven't used nearly as much as I thought we were going to. We're gonna make it through this. So the tension was definitely off at some point because that's my life right now. Um, but we're going to roll with this. So now I'm just trimming loose threads because there's tons of loose threads in this garment because the tension was off. Fun fact, that's how that happens. Yeah, we can clean this up. I'm very excited. Cleaning up the garment. So I've been uh, toying with this idea. Some of my friends did this last year where in October they did basically a costume every day. Um, but I, I think that that's like the piece that I, that I'm not sure about is like, how do you balance like good costumes? Like, right. Like, uh, my friends that did it, they're like costumes that like, you can tell that they put a lot of effort into. And then they're like costumes that they were just like, look, like I had to work today. It was tough out there. So, and even like the ones that look impressive, I feel like you still have to do those so quickly. So if you have any suggestions for 30 costumes, no, sorry, 31, excuse me. Um, that would be good for like a costume a day in the month of October. Let me know. Alright, there's like tons more cleanup that I can do on this, but I kind of don't feel like doing it. What? Uh, so I can always do that later. Off stream. Oh, see, you know, I, you can see I just keep going around the garment and I'm just like, oh, I'll just, I'll just fix this and fix that. Oh, so cute, so pretty. I am so happy that we took the risk on this fab on this um, thread choice though because it's just like a really interesting little detail that I 
um, that I think is going to make it look interesting close up. You're not going to see it from far away and nobody's going to care. But close up, people will be like, oh, that's so nice. All right, so now we are moving on to the second part of this, and the part that I really think is gonna take some time. So I'm just gonna put this on this duct tape dress form now that I made so durfully. Oh, that's the back, good. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. The fit is like about right. And that gives me a lot of joy. All right, we're just gonna snap this shut so that she sits in here. Really good. How far can I pull this down now? Oh, so far. So far, that's unfortunate. All right. So now, challenge is going to be to add all of these design elements to it. Awesome. So I'm just going to pull up that picture again, zoom in really close. So that I can see what's going on. It's going to be good. I'm excited. All right. And put this guy down here. Hmm. Just hands. That's it now. That's it now. Okay. So the first thing I want to focus on is this center piece. You know what? I'm going in here with chalk because I, or I'm going in here with paint first because I'm like a crazy person. Um, that's not what we're doing. Absolutely not. We're going to bring this mannequin back in here, back into our lives. Hello, mannequin. Oh, come back, come back to our lives. There's just a lot going on today. Oh, I'm just so happy with her. She looks beautiful. So we're going to pull up that image and instead we're going to draw. Oh, by the way, now I can show you. Look. Look at that beautiful cut. This is what we started with. A wonderful turtleneck that is now garbage. It's great. So good. And now we're just going to like, this is going to be so much fun because now I just get to, like, do stuff. <laughs> like, honestly, does the design on the front even matter? Probably not. It's like you want to get the gist of it right, but for the most part, 
nothing matters. All right. So. Okay, I'm in a good place with that. So basically I got like that, um, I just drew that like bow kind of looking thing. interesting adventure. Okay, well, in my opinion, it's clear that I can at least get this bow done. I think that that's going to be a really good piece that kind of like centers us as far as like where are we at in this garment where are our pieces going <laughs> nobody knows this whole design is just like stuff and things so all right I cannot express how happy I am that I have this duct tape dress form. Because the goodness knows I was not using my regular dress form for this. There was no way. So, let's see. Got one part done. That little green part. 
part. That's what we're doing. And I'm just gonna, basically going to do this for forever. I really wish there was a better way you could see this. The angle's just not great. Because it's a three-dimensional object. Yeah. Alright, well, we're living and learning here. Now I do want to stay on this kind of central area. We're having good success here. Don't want to ruin, don't want to ruin this thing. All right. So now we're going to go um, just up to the shoulder seam with the puff paint on this, on this beautiful little guy. Look, he's beautiful. It's also definitely falling off. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, here we go. All right, we're not going to go all the way up. Because this dress form uh, is not actually made to my specifications. I, you know, if you've ever made a duct tape dress form and it just fit like a glove, you drop me a note and let me know what I'm doing wrong. Because I find I always get like my rib cage right. The rib cage part is good, but any kind of curvy pieces. Are a, are a total no. They're just so wrong. So I was saying before that uh, for Labor Day, I'm going to the beach. I'm not a beach person at all, so this is kind of like my one of the few times of the year that I'm going to go because I really just like to avoid the sunlight as much as possible. What are you doing for Labor Day? Let me know. I'm very interested to know. All right. Sweet. We're doing well right now. So now I think I'm going to come in um, to the center of the garment.
Just adding tons of dots to simulate the lots of dots on the garment. I uh, said this earlier in the stream, but I'm pretty sure that that's supposed to be hand beading. But I'm gonna do it as puff paint. I think it's gonna produce a similar effect. We're gonna get some gems going. It's gonna look like a, a real good time. All right, now there's clearly something going on with this belt. Like some details underneath the bodice. Oh, hello, I didn't even notice those little dots. Those are coming in right now. I see that this goes into some designs in the bottom of No, I think we can do it. I was about to say, but they're three dimensional. Um, but I think we're fine. Those are coming in right now.
see that this goes into some designs in the bottom of no, I think we can do it. I was about to say, but they're three-dimensional. Um, but I think we're fine. Hmm. Oh, I said that and then it immediately started going out on me.
Okay. So we're in a good, pretty good place. Look at all that green. We're in a pretty good place. So I think we're gonna go ahead and stop while I'm ahead right now. Um, and just kind of call it a night. Um, thank you so much for stopping by.